Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to operate your cruise control on your Subaru. We are looking at a 2023 Outback, but the information I'm gonna share with you carries over to the other Subaru models as well. And so any of the Subarus you hop in will have a very similar, if not identical, setup to the controls and the buttons here. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you guys enjoy those types of videos, as always, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. If you guys have questions, leave those down below in the comment section. I try my best to answer all of your questions that I can. And if you guys enjoy this video, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out a ton and I'd really appreciate it. Let's start with this button up here on the top right. This is your cruise control button. So when you click that, you'll notice a car icon pop up on the center screen. So we turn it off and back on just like that. That's what it looks like. If you wanna use cruise control, so if, you want, if you're driving down the highway and you wanna set your speed at 60 miles an hour, you get your car up to 60 and you click down to set your cruise. Now this has something called adaptive cruise control. What that does is it will look for objects out ahead using those two eyesight cameras right here. When a car is detected ahead, it will slow down accordingly. So if your car is set at 60 miles an hour, but the car in front of you is only going 40 or 45, your car is going to slow down uh, and, and pace behind that car in front of you. And you can control the distance between uh, the gap between your car and the car ahead with this up and down arrow. So you notice when I click the up arrow, those lines increase, increasing that gap between you and the car ahead. If you click the down arrow, it decreases that gap. So that is how your adaptive cruise control works. I'll show you how that works in practice here in just a moment. But let's say you're comfortable with just using cruise. You don't want to use adaptive cruise control. Or you're not quite ready for that yet. You can turn the adaptive cruise control off by clicking the up arrow, the distance arrow, or the down arrow. You just click and hold it. You hear it beep. And then down below there, you'll see the icon change. This icon right here that changes to white. So that's how you know that your cruise control is set. Now, if you shut your car off and you turn it back on and you turn your cruise control on, Give it just a second here. Turn your cruise control on. It's gonna be by default set back to your adaptive cruise. So just remember that if you like to use your regular cruise, it will always default back to adaptive cruise control. Also, once you set your speed by clicking down on that switch, if you wanna increase or decrease the speed that you have set, you just push and hold to increase or uh, pull down to decrease. And this increases by one mile an hour increments if you just single click up or down. Or if you wanna increase by uh, five mile an hour increments, you can click and hold it and it will increase up or down by five mile an hour increments. This also has something called lane centering. That's what the bottom right button does. So when you tap that, you'll see the white steering wheel icon light up. It says ready. And what this does is it will use those cameras up there to look for lane markings on the left and the right side of the road. When it detects those, it's gonna light up green up there. It's gonna tell you that it's active and you'll feel the steering wheel gently uh, steer left and right. Now this is not autonomous driving. It's not driving the car for you. If you take your hands off the wheel, it will detect that and it'll tell you to put your hands back on the wheel. So don't let it drive for you. Uh, this is more useful on straightaways on the highway. It's not gonna take tight turns for you or anything like that. So be careful with that, but that is how that works. Uh, if you do have this on and you're trying to merge lanes, you can still merge as you normally would, but you might feel a gentle tug because it's trying to keep you inside your lane, uh, trying to keep you from avoid accidentally crossing the line when, when you're not trying to merge. But if you tap this button, it turns that system off and, and lets you easily merge into the next lane. Or if it's on and you turn your blinker on while you're driving, that will automatically shut off, it will release and let you merge accordingly. So now that we're out here on the highway, I can show you guys how this works in practice. So first we wanna make sure our cruise control is turned on. So we just tap this top right button. You'll see the little car icon pop up and then you tap down to set your cruise speed. So I have it set to 55, but I wanna bump this up a little bit. So I'm gonna push and hold it up to increase the speed. We'll increase it to 75 right now, um, but you'll see 
it's, uh, it's not going 75, and that's because of the car out ahead. Now I'm gonna decrease that gap between us and the car ahead, so I'm gonna click this down arrow. You'll see my car will speed up just a little bit to try to catch up to the car out ahead. You'll notice on the highway though, even at the smallest gap, one line ahead of the, uh, the car, it is still, uh, there's still quite a bit of gap there. So sometimes, you know, you'll have people who, there's still enough room where somebody could get out in front of you. So you just, you wanna pay attention to that, but this will auto brake and pace behind the car ahead without having to have your foot on the gas or the brake. I also have the lane centering on. You'll notice that it is lit up green right now, so that is active, and it's gently guiding me back and forth, keeping me in my lane. But if I do take my hands off the wheel, we'll see how long this will, will take to uh, remind me, put my hands on the wheel. But if I take my hands off the wheel, it will ultimately tell me to put them on the steering wheel. There we go. So now it is telling me just to put my hands on the wheel or else it will shut off. So it beeps and shortly thereafter, it will shut off if you don't have any driver input. This lane centering option, this on off switch only works when your adaptive cruise is set, but there is a way to operate the lane centering without your adaptive cruise. And that's over here in the touchscreen display. You go down here to the left, the car icon, you tap this, go to driving assistance, and then under driving assistance, look for lane departure. So right now all functions are on. One of those functions is the lane departure prevention. So it will look for lane markings intermittently, even without cruise control on and keep you centered. And you have the buzzer alert. It's just an audible alert that gently reminds you when you're getting too close to the left or the right side of the road when you're, when you're at risk of going over the line. Now, if you want just one of those functions on, if you just want the, say you just want the buzzer on, you just click that. If you don't want the buzzer on, but you want the lane prevention function on, turn that on. Or if you don't want any of them on, you just turn it off just like that. And it will display over here telling you that your lane departure uh, alert is off. Now, even if you have that off, if you still wanna use your lane centering, you can still do it over here when you're using cruise control. I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to click the like button. If you guys have any questions at all on your Subaru, leave those down in the comment section below. And who knows, I might make my next video on the question that you ask. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.